What's up everyone? On today's episode, we're gonna go over learning 180s and landing backwards. I think that the two are kind of tied together. If you're just learning 180s, you probably don't have a ton of experience of catching air and then landing backwards. So we're gonna tie these two things in together and get you dialed. 180 is a pretty entry level trick, but it's also gonna be the foundation for everything else that you learn after this. And especially your landing for anything where your landing switch in the future. So whether that's 540s, 900s, zero spins, whatever. So with the 180, you're gonna to wanna to focus on being patient. A lot, what a lot of people tend to do is worry about how much spin they have to do and start spinning before they're on the takeoff. Really wait until you're all the way up, you pop, you're in the air before you start spinning. The beauty of the 180, you can learn it on a little side hit, you can learn it on a hip. You don't have to have a terrain park at your home resort to learn this. And you can also add in a little bit of carve. So if you want, you can add a little bit of a turn to kind of help you initiate that spin. But you're gonna wanna like set your edge, initiate that spin, lead with your head and shoulders. That's gonna be key through all of these tricks lead with your head and shoulders. And then when you're landing switch, the big thing to remember, people tend to look down at their feet, looking at kind of where they're landing. You wanna keep your head up, mainly because if, you, if you're looking down, you'll tend to bend at the waist. And then when you have that impact, you'll be like this and all bent over and you won't have as much control. So once you know where you're gonna land, pick your head up, pick your chest up, and be able to land square and stomp it. The beauty of getting started is for something as simple as 180, you can do it anywhere. You can do it on a small roller. You can do it on a little hip style jump just like this. And the beauty of a little side hit or a hip style jump like that, you can see your landing the whole time. And mainly you don't have to do a whole 180 rotation. You don't have to go all the way from forward to backwards. You're kind of have a side landing. So you only have to do about 120 degrees and you get to spot it the whole time around. So it might be a little bit less intimidating and an easy way to get started. And then once you have your switch skiing dialed and those landings, then you can take it to something bigger.